Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. With your eyes closed, you roll a pair of dice. The casino dealer announces that at least one of the rolls is a one. What is the probability that both rolls show a one? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. The surprising result is the probability is not 1 sixth. Imagine the casino offered this game with stakes. If you thought the probability was 1 sixth, then you would be willing to offer a $1 bet for a $6 payout that both dice were showing a 1. You would think this is a fair game, but in fact you would be losing money on average. The casino should actually be offering an $11 payout for this to be a fair game. The probability that both dice are showing a 1 is actually much lower. Let's calculate this. When you roll a pair of dice, there are 36 equally likely outcomes. Each die can show a number between 1 and 6. This creates 36 different pairs. When the casino dealer announces that at least one dice is showing a 1, we need to eliminate all the different pairs which do not include a 1. Let's count the number of pairs which do include a 1. There are 11 different pairs, and these are equally likely rolls to happen. Now, in 10 of these events, one of the dice is showing a 1, and the other dice is not a 1. In exactly one of the cases, both of the dice are showing a 1. Therefore, there is a 1 in 11 chance, or about a 9.1% probability, that both dice are showing a 1. This is a surprising result, and to give further evidence of this, we're going to do a numerical simulation in a spreadsheet. We're going to set up a spreadsheet in which we do a numerical estimation of the probability. We imagine rolling two dice labeled A and B. Our sample space is the number of trials in which at least one dice is showing a 1. A success in our experiment is a case in which both dice are showing a 1. To roll a dice in a spreadsheet, we use the function randBetween, and we generate a random number between 1 and 6. Our sample space is the number of trials in which at least one roll is showing a 1. So we're going to set up a formula that at least one roll has to be equal to 1, then we'll allow it in our sample space, count it with the 1, otherwise we'll count it as a 0. Now we want to see a success in which both dice are showing a 1. So if this both dice are showing a 1, we're going to count that as a success, otherwise we exclude it. So this is one roll of the dice, neither of them showed a 1. So we can copy these formulas down, and eventually we'll get to a case in which one of the dice is showing a 1. So this formula calculates that, yes, we're going to count this in our sample space. Now to get an accurate representation of the probability, we're going to want to copy this down many, many times. Eventually, we'll get to a case in which both dice are showing a 1. So I'm going to copy this down, and we're going to imagine doing 10,000 rolls. So now we can count the number of times in which at least one dice is showing a 1. This will be the sum of the third column. This is about 3,000 out of the 10,000 rolls. And notice, this is approximately 30%, which is about the 11 over 36 that I was saying were equally likely events. We now want to know the proportion of these cases in which both rolls are showing a 1. This will be the sum of the successes in the fourth column. This is about 270. So now we can calculate the probability that both rolls are a 1, given at least 1 is a 1, as the ratio of the successes divided by the number of sample spaces. Now this is nearly 9%, and this is roughly equal to the probability we calculated of 1 divided by 11. So this again justifies that 1 over 11 is the correct probability. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, 
Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.